Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Stay a while, um, look at a couple more videos, like, comment, subscribe, join the family. Um, if you are an old subscriber, I thank you for coming back. Um, ignore the sound in the background, that's my husband. The kids wanna go swimming and I'm just trying to get this video out. And he's trying to do something back there, all right? So today is Stuffing Sunday, um, so I have all of my cash categories already spread out. Um, I have them divided already, so uh, this should move quickly. And I'll uh, tell you how I did last um, pay period with everything. All right, so like always, we'll start with the joint account, and then we'll move to the personal stuff. Um, and again, I'm using the same wallet um, that I have been using. All right, so groceries, y'all know that that is $125, but let's take out what was left in groceries. It's $79, and that's gonna go into the school sinking fund. All right, so now I'm putting in the grocery money. So that's $125 each week. So that is $250. I've already done the grocery shopping for today. That's what took a little bit long to get um, get to this video. But my grocery shop trip for today was $126. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture here so you know um, what I spent my money on. And I went to Aldi's. Um, if you haven't gone to Aldi's yet, you're sleeping. Don't sleep on Aldi's, okay? So I got um, food from there, my produce and everything from there. And then I went to Whole Foods because I'm starting this June challenge. By the way, make sure you during the June challenge with me, the lose the gut, keep the butt challenge. Um, so I got salmon from Whole Foods and I got organic grapes and um, bananas from there, but that'll be in the picture as well. All right, so aftercare for my daughter, but because we're not using that money, that's gonna go into the school fund for her. So that's gonna go into the sinking fund. daycare for the kids and also because they're in summer camp this is also going into the school fund date night for us remember i told you last time that we took the rest of the date night money and we were putting that um to the excursions well we didn't use all of it so we still have some left so we're just going to add to it And that goes here into our date night fund. This is the restaurant. It's $100. Um, we left the money uh, with someone who was watching our children while we went out of town. So all the restaurant money is gone. Um, Allowance for Big Girl. Allowance <coughs> for the babies. Gymnastics is for Avery. That goes into her fund. And that's it for the joint account. So now we're moving on to the personal funds. Okay, so now we have um, the gas money that is um, $175 that goes into the gas fund. I did a lot of driving um, last pay period, so there's only uh, $20 left. And so that will go into the sinking fund. So next up is the money that I put into our eating out fund. Um, and this really, I'm sorry, no, this is my phone bill money. I bet. Um, so that goes there. Uh, 
this is my miscellaneous money so that's a hundred dollars for me um, last pay period I went ahead and spent my money um, I got my nails done to go on vacation and I because I'm starting this June challenge I used the money from there to pay for the stuff that I needed instead of getting it from the grocery money so I needed a protein powder um, I got it out of there I needed um, an abdominal band I ordered it off Amazon it was $20 and so I took the money out of um, my personal account um, to get that and I also took the girls to get their nails done as well so I used my personal money for that um, even though I was doing something you know for them um, so this is the money that I add $50 to the eating out budget um, and I go ahead and do that because I eat out sometimes for lunch as well um, and I don't think it's fair that everyone gets deducted because I need to eat you know during the work day and I have the money so I just go ahead and put some money in there for me um, so now all that's left is for me to stuff our um, sinking funds so you guys know already that $100 automatically goes to um, my friend's wedding. And $100 goes into our vacation fund. So we are about to go on vacation um, this month. And so that money will probably get used all up. And then we'll start over for next month. Oh, and I forgot. I usually give... Um, take out my tithe money and you see it here but i went to church already today so the tithe money is gone now let me tell you okay this just being real transparent don't judge me um I, there have been times where i thought to myself self um you know you pay a lot in tithe um that money can go to using uh, or paying down some of your debt and so the debt that i have left is my car payment and my student loan payment. It's very tempting to say, I'll take my tithe money because I give $200 a pay period, so it's $400 a month. It's very tempting to say, I'm going to take the $400 and put it toward my student loan and I'll be done a lot faster, right? And I had that thought this morning. And then I went to church today and the message today was, most times we get stuck looking at the problem and we forget that we need to look to the provider. And so my pastor made the analogy of um, cell phones and he was talking about how his phone was acting up and he thought the, the issue was the phone when the issue was in fact the provider. Um, and he figured that out after he purchased a new phone that the issue was the provider and not the phone. And so right now I'm looking at the problem, the problem being my debt and not looking at the provider, the provider being God. And so I cannot, um, take money from God and give to my problem because God provides everything for me and he provided the funds for me to be able to make sure that I have a roof over my head, um, food in my refrigerator and everything else. So I will continue to give him my tithe as much as my mind wants to tell me, go ahead and put that money towards, um, towards the debt because you'll get done a lot faster. That's not fair. That's not right. And so I'll just continue to push through that. Um, you know what? Let me know down below if you've had that challenge before, if you've had to make the decision of giving tithe um, versus paying off debt, or if you've decided that you're going to pay debt down instead of giving off tithe. Let's have that conversation in the comment section below. All right. So going back to our sinking funds, $53 goes into the fund for me because I'm saving for a bag. And now that I think about it, maybe instead of saving for the bag, um, maybe I'll put that money to um, to my debt, depending on you know how I feel and how much I've saved. So $22 is going to go to the doctor fund because that just got wiped out because we had to pay the copay for my daughter when she went to the hospital. Um, we have $22 going into the home repair account, $22 going into the school account. And I'm sorry, I can hear my kids. I don't know if you can, but they're outside at the pool. $22 goes into the car fund um, along with the $20 that I had left over from gas. $22 goes into the Christmas fund. 
and then $22 goes into the birthday fund. And so um, Alex's birthday is this month, so the birthday fund is probably going to be emptied out, depending on what he says he wants to do for his birthday. Um, oh, that's just an aside. So for our kids, we don't give them a birthday party every year. Um, we give them a party for their first birthday, uh, their fifth birthday, 10th birthday, 13, 16, and maybe 18, depending on whether they're still in high school or not. So because Alex is three, um, and he doesn't get a birthday party this year. What we do is we ask them what they want to do for their birthday. Whatever the answer is, that's what we do instead of throwing a party. So this year he has decided that he wants to go to Red Lobster for dinner and he wants to invite everybody over to come get in the pool. That's what we'll do. It's not a party. They're not coming to my house expecting us to have a spread and a cake and all that good stuff. Nope. He just asked y'all to come get in the pool. That was it. Mm -mm. Bring your own food, your own snacks, and maybe we'll provide you with some water. But that's about it. Okay. So this is Stuffing Sunday. Let me know how you guys like these videos, um, how I'm doing. I need some feedback. You know, um, y'all been a little silent on me. So let me know what you guys think. All right. Um, join me next time, the next pay period, which is will be in two weeks because I get paid bi-weekly. Um, and we'll do another Stuffing Sunday. Oh, our video, I want you to know, this is my grocery bill. Can you see that? So I wanted you to be able to see it. Um, so the groceries ended up being, like I said, $126, but that was it. All right. So join me next time on Journey to Peace with me as I journey to financial freedom. Thanks for watching.